Hello, I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Let's unbox one loader from MT model. It is a WA480. So let's unbox to see what got here and uh, later we will test all the functions. Okay, so we already assembled all this handrail, the exhaust, uh, this uh, filter, and also this exhaust pipe, so this mirror, and uh, the, the mud guard, this metal, uh, no, this rubber. So now we will start. First, let's see the light. Can change flashing, slow flashing, off, on again. We will keep like this, and another light. So now it is on, also from rear side it is also on. Check the rear side one, the rear side light, turning, turning right. So, and now start the sound system. That's the horn. Start the engine. Okay, we will check the light from here. So. Rear side light off, you will see backward. No, the letter, this engine sound, we can change. This, uh, I don't like this brake, not for this loader. <laughs> That's the braking light. Go back. That's the braking light, turning left, turning right. Light on, reverse. Now, because already red, you cannot see it anymore. Okay, so we will start running this one. I will go out and change the engine sound. Sound system off and change the endpoints for the throttle, increase. Now I can go inside setting, change, engine sound. This is like a jack to spark. Okay, this one better. Go out, access, and uh, slow speed. Sound on. Let's check out. Now, how is the engine sound and the brake? Okay, now the brake sound good. Can you run? So, now the mix control for starting pump it is very slow. We can start, increase a little the pump, start a little. Now will be more higher speed for the pump running, higher pressure. Okay, now let's operate. Go down, up. Tilting. Lift up. Also change direction like this, also can lift up. Go down. Let's see. Okay. 
let's see how much weight this one can lift up. We will put some, yeah, we forgot. Also another one need to show you. This one is controlled by hydraulic. Can change the wideness. Okay, so for this one, like this, enough. Also can be a little smaller, bigger. Yeah, okay, so we'll keep it like this. So one of these, it is 2.5 kg. Yeah, 2.5, let's start. Put it down. Wait, need to change the angle. Open a little bit more. Okay, then tilting. Like this, go up. Increase the pump. It's very easy. We will put it down. Put one more. Now it is 5 kg. Tilting. Yeah, it's very easy. We will put one more. So, 7.5 kg now. 7.5 kg. Lift tilting. Yeah, it's a little, looks very heavy now. The loader is a little bit shaking. Driving backward. Turning. Okay, put it down. Tilting. So 7.5, now 1.2. 1.25, so will be 8.7, around 8.7 kg, so lift up, tilting, yeah, still can lift up, and the pump still can increase more load, so not to worry because this one have pressure released well, pull down a little, let's drive, uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> so, that's too heavy for this one already. The, <laughs> the rear side lift up. Let's see if driving it may, maybe will be lift up again. The rear side is coming up. <laughs> okay, so that's too heavy for this one. And uh, put it down. I forgot to show you, this one also have the top, the warning light, can change. Different mood. Okay, we will leave it like this. Stop the pump. Okay, so this one have differential lock. So if you look at here, you will see this is the lock. Front axle, rear axle all have. Lock it, unlock. Now unlock, let's see. That's the differential, lock it. Yeah, it will go forward. It's locked. So unlock it. Yeah, nothing disengaged. Now disengaged. So this one don't have transmission gear box so to change gear. So it's a setting. Setting with the endpoints for controlling the throttle. So now it is low speed, change to high speed. No transmission gearbox, only the endpoints for the throttle. So now it is around 7, 70%. 70%, 32%. Okay, that's for controlling the speed. For the front, lift up. Here you will see with, with these two spare channels here, connecting here to control, to change the wideness of this fork. And uh, we will dismantle it. So you will see. 
that there I have a pin control also by hydraulic to lock it. Okay, I will lift up, you will see. Now it here, here is the pin. Unlock, lock it. Okay, we put this back. So now it is locked. If you lift up, we can see the rear axle suspension. Not easy to see from here. So this pitching for the uh, rear axle, actually, it have no suspension spring. It's only the axle it's turning. So also from this angle, you can see from the the rim side have these big bearings and also inside got the speed reducing gears. Yeah, if I lift too much, oil coming from the this oil tank uh, from other side. So here it is the oil tank and uh, now we see the, the CVD drive shaft and the driver motor it is inside here with this uh, speed reduced gearbox and uh, also the transfer case here, transfer power to rear side and, and the front side. Okay, I will put down. Open the rear side cover, you will see the battery chamber. Here are the three battery and have a power switch. And downside this plate, here we got the brushless motor and the pump. So the valve distribution valve actually it is on here and with this pressure release valve. So the ESC it is on there now, cannot see. Only from this angle you see the receiver. And uh, here come to the cabin, this one, the mud guard, it is plastic, and this decoration, the field also plastic. For others, it is, uh, yeah, let's check, all metal, only the window, it is plastic. Let's open this cabin door, the mirror. So only the rear side is a mud guard plastic, front mud guard is metal one. So from here, you go inside, you will see, have a screen, this screen inside not easy to see. It's showing 11.3 volt. That's the for the battery volt, and uh, actually have pressure, but not so accurate. If I start the pump, the pressure it is showing one, one around one bar, but might, should be higher than one bar. Okay, this maybe cannot turn, so it is fixed, the wheel cannot turn. Also from the uh, right side, the cabin can be opened. Pressure not so accurate, but the voltage it is accurate. Okay, I close the door. So from downside here, you will see these two cylinders, it is for steering. And the front, these two cylinders, it is for lift up and lower the big arm. And this one for tilting the bucket. So this one, we have five channels for the distribution well. One steering, one big arm, one this tilting bucket, one for changing the wideness, and one for the quick connection. So five channels for distribution well. And now oil tank is this side. So oil tank here, you will see fill up the oil from this position. So this one, no have transmission gearbox, but have differential and the differential lock. And uh, with this uh, uh, hydraulic control, the forklift, and uh, this spare, also this original big bucket, a very strong one. It is very heavy strong. Light and sound. So everything, this one, it is perfect. And thank you. We will see each other again. Bye-bye.